backyard and if you're new to my channel please consider subscribing and don't forget to hit the like button this is part two after harvesting my pineapple plant so I successfully grew a pineapple in a northern climate I am in a, a growing zone 5b and 6a it has been a five-year project to taking pineapple a pine, uh, organic pineapple, cutting the top off, rooting the top in water, and then putting it in a container like this. Now, if you go to all of my previous videos, you can follow my journey from the time I started attempting to grow pineapple in a northern climate, zone 5B, 6A, and successfully produced a pineapple. Now this particular pineapple plant was grown indoors under these grow lights. So you could actually grow tropical food under a grow light indoors. Now look, look at my previous video where we cut the pineapple off from this stalk right here. Okay. So we, it was, although it was small, the pineapple was sweet. It tastes like candy pineapple. So that's the difference between growing your own food and buying food from the store. Now, what we need to do next is this. As you can see, I have a pup growing right from this pineapple right here. So this is what they call a pup growing from this pineapple. Now, when this pineapple was producing fruit, it had a pup that I had to cut off and plant here because I didn't want all the energy to go to the pup that was already on this parent plant. So I cut the pup off, made sure I could get all the energy to the actual pineapple that was growing. So now what we want to do is we're not going to pull the parent plant. What we're going to do is we're going to cut it down so that it's the, 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 the pup will still be close to the roots of the parent plant but we want all the energy to now go into the pup. So I'm gonna start cutting it right now. This is a, a thick pineapple, so it's taking some time to cut. Okay, you wanna give me that pruner right underneath there. See that pruner? Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and use my pruner to finish the rest off. Because the, the, the parent plant is not gonna produce any more fruit. It's done producing fruit. That's the reason why it puts out pups. Because uh, that is a signal to the parent of plant that it's time to produce additional plants. So I'm still trying to get this cut off. All right, so again, I just want to leave the pineapple root in place. There are so many methods in propagating the pups. Some people will take them off and, and pull them out like I did this one. But in this particular case, this particular pineapple did fruit. So now what I have here is I have the parent plant still, in, it's still intact. So it still is a, a connected to the root of the parent plant. But now the pup is gonna grow 
and hopefully in the next 15 months, I'm going to have a plant just as big as this one. The subsequent pups that come in, they fruit a lot sooner than if you had started from scratch. So I'm hoping that this particular one will get big and produce a fruit in the next 12 to 15 months. And this particular one that I'm rooting in the water, that came off the actual pineapple plant that we harvested. And again, you can check my previous video, part one on that. So I just wanted to take you along, show you the part two of what happens after you harvest a pineapple plant. And now that I got a pup, we want to watch this one grow. So there you have it. You can grow a pineapple plant in a northern climate. My growing zone is 5A and 5B. Put your um, comments. Let me know if you've attempted this or if you are attempting it. What, are you, what is your experience? Share that with me. Thank you for watching and don't forget to hit the like button.